This is the Armed Forces Tournament. Up first, the Forge of Fire Champions Duel, where the champion of the Barbarian Sword Challenge goes up against the winner of the American Eagle Head Saber Challenge. All right, guys, you're gonna be building this. The Woodsman's Pal. First created in 1941, the Woodman's Pal is an essential survival axe used by the U.S. military from World War II to the Vietnam War. This multi-purpose tool was designed for the Pacific Theater and features a strong axe-like blade designed to hack through dense brush, chop down wood, and even slash through enemy combatants. While no longer standard issue among the troops, the Woodman's Pal is still in production for civilians today. My name is Ethan Lee. I'm 29 years old. I think it's pretty cool to represent the Navy in a competition like this because I get to go up against an Army dude, and this is what I love doing the most. I walk over to my forge and I look to see if the billet is up to temperature, and it's about heated as necessary, so I think it's just time to go ahead and make an initial weld and hopefully not get any delaminations because if you try to do too much too soon, you can have delaminations. And the last thing I want is a weld failure. I got the layers welded together. I go over the bandsaw and I do a little work on my scales. I'm happy with my shape and I'm ready to quench. Hey, did quench. Nice. Oh, yeah. It has a slight crook in it, but it's something I can fix with a grinder. I know I'm not going to be able to achieve the weight I want, but this is as good as I'm going to be able to do for right now. I have to put it in the temper, and my plan now is to do a little bit more work on my scales. It's incredibly important to get this handle the right way. That ain't happening. Because the last time I was here, my handle was too large, and I don't want to make that same mistake again. I'm liking the handle. It's starting to be more comfortable, and that's my main goal. My name is Mike Rizzo. I'm 32 years old, and I'm from Danbury, Connecticut. Being ex-military, I know going into this, if my plan isn't working, I need to adjust fire and continue on. I finally get my steel on the forge. My billet's up to heat, so I just throw it in the press, punch it down, and then I have free reign to do as I please with it. I've got this thing to the parameters, and now I'm trying to work in this spike on the top. Getting this thing to shape is one of the most challenging things I've done in bladesmithing. So I'm on the grinder, and I'm trying to get all the forge scale off. I'm going to start setting up to thermal cycle and quench. Mike's quenched. I have absolutely no idea how my quench went. I have no idea if it's hard. The clock is still ticking, and I have to get my handle all glued up real fast. Holy I realize that I have this gaping hole right at the front of my blade. This is worst case scenario at this point. I make the decision to weld it shut so that it's a structurally sound piece of steel. Now that I have the tip welded up, I make the decision to torch temper. It's really my only option at this point with a handle assembly on. I don't want a brittle blade to be tested. It could shatter into pieces. I would love to be able to shorten the end of this blade at the tip. However, if I take too much of the tip off, then I'm under parameters on the width, so I need to modify my handle now to make parameters. So I braid up a paracord bolster. Oh my god, he did it. And it gets me within parameters, and it's back to the grinder. Five, four, three, two, one. Bladesmith, turn off your tools, put down your blades. This round of duel is over. Ethan, Mike, welcome to the strength test. This is the rifle barrel chop. You're gonna be taking your woodsman's pals and smashing them against this rifle barrel. We don't care really what happens to the rifle, but we do care what happens to your knives. Ethan, you're up first, you ready for this? Sure. <laughs> All right, Ethan, your edge held up great. It's a little dull where it hit the barrel, but there's no chipping, there's no major rolling. 
overall, I think you did a great job. Thank you. All right, Mike, you're up next. You ready for this? Sure, let's do it. <laughs> your mouth says yes, but your head says no. All right, Mike. First things first, really, your edge took some serious damage here. There's a lot of compaction. It just kind of smushed back. It's peened over. There's a little delamination running here, and I know you had some issues up here at the tip with a pretty major delamination, but the welds look good, and uh, it stayed together. Nice job. Thanks. All right, Forging Fire champions. This is the sharpness test, the foam tube slice. To find out how sharp your edges are, I'm gonna to try to cut through all these foam tubes. Ethan, you're up first. You ready for this? Let's do it. Right, let's do it. All right, Ethan, let's talk about your Woodman's Pal right here. There is some weight and heft to this, but it would definitely lead itself to be a good chopper. Your edge did cut on the first three tubes of the fourth. Because of some dulling, it didn't cut all the way through. But overall, your weapon, sir, you will cut. Thank you. Your turn, Mike. You ready? I've had it. All right. All right, Mike, let's talk about your Woodman's Pal over here. Right in this section right here where we tested it earlier in a strength test, it's completely dull. Uh, you have some sharp edges in this area, and that's probably the area that also helped cut on the first two tubes, but that's as far as it went. But overall, sir, you will cut. Thank you. All right, Ethan, Mike, the last time you guys came into this forge, you both walked out of here champions, but this is the redeployment tournament and only one of you guys is moving forward into the final round. The bladesmith who's gonna be moving forward in this competition is... Ethan, congratulations, man. You're moving on to the final battle. Mike, you fought hard, but unfortunately, you're not gonna be moving forward in this competition. I'm gonna have to ask you to please step off the forge floor. Good, job, Good fight. I may not be moving on, but I work to the best of my ability. And I think all of us in this redeployment tournament are really representing what servicemen and women are capable of. Well, Ethan, that means you are the winner of the duel and you are moving forward into the final round of the Armed Forces Redeployment Tournament, man. You just got yourself a check for $2,000. Congratulations. Feels really good to know that I'm moving on to the tournament, but this is a small win. Feeling good? Yes, sir. Can't wait to see what's next.